Hello, this is SCB, and I'm here today to give you a mod spotlight. This is um, Death Scythe for uh, Minecraft 1.3.2 by Kiwi, I think his name is. It's really hard to um, pronounce, but yeah, let's get started. So, the first feature I'll show you is the new ores. This is Holy Ore, and this is Unholy Ore. Um, they can both be mined by a wooden pickaxe. It takes a while and you think it would probably break but it doesn't and you get holy crystal splinters from holy ore and unholy crystal splinters from unholy ore. Um, diamond pickaxes are significantly faster but never mind that. Um, if you put four holy crystal splinters into a crafting table you'll get a holy crystal and for unholy crystal splinters will give you an unholy crystal. So now we'll just get to a few other things. If you cook some soul sand in a furnace, you'll get cursed souls. If you cook some ender pearls in a furnace, you'll get shady pearls. And those two things can be combined in a um, workbench. So shady pearl in the middle and cursed souls all around it to make a soul pearl. And um, you can also use cursed souls with a holy crystal splinter in a crafting bench to make a pure soul. It's um, shapeless, the recipe is shapeless, so you can put both wherever, and that will make a pure soul. Um, soul, pearl soul pearls are mostly used for um, scythes and Grim Reaper armor. To make the helmet for Grim Reaper armor, you need to put soul pearls like a helmet and a cursed soul where your head would probably be. That makes Grim Reaper's hood. And all the other armor is pretty much the same as it would be if you were using, say, leather, diamond, or iron. Um, we'll just see what this looks like. It looks decent, it looks pretty good, and kind of makes you look like a creeper or something. It's cool. So, um, what this does, it's it's pretty hard to make. It's, it's decently hard to make. You need to kill a lot of endermen, that's for sure. But it's as good as iron armor. Um, but wait until you hear that it's completely unbreakable. It does not break. The only thing that will probably break it is if you fall into lava and that just destroys it. Um... Yes, but it's not enchantable, so it's unbreakable, but unchantable, unenchantable, and it's very hard to make. Um, pure souls, which you make with a crystal, holy, holy crystal splinter and a cursed soul, that can be made into god armor. Um, god armor is... Oh, I, I, I have no idea about that. So apparently, god armor is always enchanted with blast protection when you make it. The helmet doesn't need anything in the middle for god armor. It's just... Um, I had no idea it gives you blast prote protection, but apparently it does. Um, cool. So it's nice. It's godly. It's very godly. It's... I think it's as good as diamond armor. And it is unbreakable and not enchantable and apparently gives you blast protection. That's cool. And now we'll get to the main feature of this mod, which are the sides. So let's see how to make a normal death side. To make a normal death side, hey, where's my, must be here, yeah, I missed. So to make a death side, you put sticks like so and put soul pearls at the top, that will give you a death side. Death Scythes are as strong as iron armor when it comes to killing um, mobs and players, of course, if you're in multiplayer. Oh no, wait, this isn't a multiplayer mob build. Um, so yeah, as strong as iron arm sort of swords, iron swords, but it's un completely unbreakable and non enchantable. Just kind of like the armor, so it goes pretty nicely with, with the armor. Let's just check that. So I'm the Grim Reaper now. That's cool. Um, to make a zombie hunter death on a way, first of all, we'll just do this. Um, 
you can make the the only really thing the only thing that crystals unholy crystals and holy crystals are used for is for making unholy sides and holy sides unholy sides are a lot stronger than um diamond swords let me just let's see how the squid fares oh killed in one hit there we go so it's a lot stronger than a diamond sword and it, once again it's unbreakable and not enchantable um so they yet go and then also there's the holy scythe this is a little bit stronger than a diamond sword still stronger than a diamond sword and once again it's not breakable but it, when you make it it is enchanted with fire aspect 2 and knockback 2 so it just burns mobs and knocks them back when you hit them so that's pretty cool um yeah the next side is the zombie hunter side you just you make one of these bones like so zombie flesh like so and death side in the middle this will create a zombie hunter side that is as strong as an iron sword it's not enchantable but when you create it it is enchanted with smite 4 so even though these two are enchanted when they um when they're created they cannot be enchanted any further um, even though they're not enchantable they can be kind of enchanted using this block that you can make called a grindstone if you put any of any of the um, sides into a crafting bench with a oh maybe not holy sides maybe unholy sides oh Maybe it's just with normal death sides and a zombie. This is weird. Anyway, um, apparently on the th forum thread, it said that if you put any sides into a workbench with a grindstone, it will um, enchant it with sharpness one. So any sides will um, be enchanted with sharpness one. But a zombie hunter scythe, instead of sharpness 1, it will be granted smite 5 instead of smite 4. And then finally we have the drinks. I actually didn't really read up on what these do, but I think the holy one might instantly cure, like, give you health, but doesn't fill up the hunger bar. And I think the cursed drink, I think the cursed one, I think the cursed one gives you a strength bonus, uh, but it, um, I can't drink it. This is weird, but, um, it gives you a strength bonus, but it takes away two of your hunger bar. So, yeah, that's cool. And that is the Death Scythe mod. Um, see you next time, and on a way, no, not see you next time. Um, now I will cut to how to install the mod, so... Now I'm going to show you how to download the mod. So first of all, you're going to need the link to the forum thread, the links in the description, and same with mod loader. You're going to need to find the link for Rigasami's mod loader. That will also be in the link in the description. Another link in the description, of course. Um, so first of all, you're going to download the mod that we want to download. Um, this will be the Death Scythe mod. You find number nine download here. You go to Media Fire. Here we go. Media Fire. Gonna be opening up. Start the download. I'm gonna save that to downloads. And that's already done. And now we're going to download Mod Loader. So we're going to do Add Fly to give Rigglesami some money. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Um, I recommend using Add Fly because. Um, it kind of donates some money to the person who made the thing that you're downloading. So if you want Rigasami to continue making mods, then please use AdFly to download. So now we're going to have two zip folders, the Reaper mod um, zip folder and the mod loader zip folder. You're going to want to open these with WinRAR. Now if you don't have WinRAR, um, just download it, links in the description again, um, and you'll have a 30 day trial of WinRAR, and that'll work just fine. And same with ModLighter, open that. 
now you are going to want to get into Minecraft. Pe some people do it one way, some other people do it another way. But to get to, um, like some people type in the little thing over here, um, percent app data percent, and then they do some random stuff. So you get roaming here. But I actually prefer to go to options when you open the Minecraft, and then it'll just be right here. So more app data roaming and dot Minecraft game location on disk. So you want that. Then we go into the bin. Just, um, look for some scraps for our dog. And then we go to the Minecraft jar file. Well, that's not jar. Yeah, it's an executable jar, executable jar file. You open that with WinRAR2 Win or 7-zip if you have that. And so now if we have everything um, up. So I already have the mod downloaded. But what we, but what you would do is um, there would be a folder here called meta inf. Now what you have to do is click on that folder and click delete files because we don't want that meta inf file there. That's basically like a folder to stop mods from just like completely corrupting the game. But these mods won't corrupt the game. So first of all, you're going to want to um, download all the all of these class files for mod loader. You're going to Control A to select all. Control C and then control V here and then you press OK on this little um, file that comes up and then you do you close that and then you do the same with Reaper mod control A, control C and control V and then after that get out of everything log into Minecraft and you should have yourself a death scythe mod thank you for watching and I'll see you some other time